Pokemon Masters, Berkey Patobi here, and thank you for clicking on my video. And welcome back to the series where I revisit all Pokemon theories of mine, some of the fan favorites, and kind of see, okay, Sword and Teal are out, where are we at? Do they still kind of apply? Do they make sense? Or have they been totally, totally debunked? And the theory that I did about the Pokemon world map is one of my favorite. The globe, where does everything go? It has honestly been one of my absolute favorite things to look into over the years. However, shortly after the video came out, a bit of evidence came out that completely kind of tore the whole thing down. And the more I thought about it, the more I thought, oh my goodness, over the years, I've been totally wrong until today. Until today, when I was doing the research of this video and I realized, oh no, I might have been onto something all along. With that being said, you're gonna have to let me know what you think about this theory, this kind of coming together. D does this world map make sense to you? Let me know, of course, in the comments. I'm gonna go through the theories, go through all the contradicting evidence that you have shown me over the years, go over new evidence that's come out and then work out where we're at with it. And with that being said, let's go and just jump into it. I just had generic YouTube stuff. Let's just jump into it. Let's just jump into it. Okay, starting off with the Pokemon globe. How does that look? What is even on there? Well, we know we've got all the mainstream regions. Kanto, Johto, Hoenn, Sinnoh, Unova, Kalos, Alola, and of course, Gala. As well as that, you've got lots of side areas. You've got the Sevi Islands around Kanto. You've got the Nature Preserve around about uh, around Unova. You've got the special event on the island where you find Mew in the Generation 3 games. You've got the Sinjo Ruins from uh, the Heart, Gold, and Soul Silver event that is clearly, as you can see by the map, north of Johto and Sin Johto. It's probably between the two. And as well as that, coming up, you've got the uh, the Crown Tundra and the Isle of Armor, which aren't part of the main Gala map, as far as we can tell. On top of that, there's some side games. Now, I'm not including all of the side games. I'm only including the side Pokemon games that can transfer to the main series. And I'm not including Pokemon Go for this one because Pokemon Go is set in the real world. So, uh, yeah. But I will include Pokemon Colosseum and Gale of Darkness or region. Battle Revolutions Island, which is very much supposed to be a kind of upgraded version of the island from Pokemon Stadium and Pokemon Stadium. Two. This is known as Poketopia. The place where Pokemon Channel happens. Uh, Pokemon Channel happens just in Kanto somewhere, so it really doesn't matter that much. There was a WiiWare title, My Pokemon Ranch, which just happens somewhere at the base of a mountain, probably in Sinnoh. Doesn't really matter. There's the Pokemon Dream Radar and Dream World games, which are set in the Dream World, so an alternate dimension. That doesn't really matter. There's the Pokewalker, I guess, all of the courses, which are just around Johto somewhere, I think. And uh, finally, the big one, I guess, is the Pokemon Ranger regions, because you can actually transfer Pokemon from Pokemon Ranger, you can transfer the Manaphy Egg, and in the later games, there were events where you could transfer other Pokemon to the main series of Pokemon games. So the Ranger regions all definitely exist in the same world, and in fact, we get direct references. For example, in Pokemon Ranger, the reason they send the Manaphy Egg to Sinnoh is because they claim it is the closest region, and that's important. Because breaking down what I originally had as an idea for the map, but first of all, we can start with what we know. Kanto and Johto are next to each other. We know this, it's been seen in Gold Silver, Crystal, Heart Gold, and Soul Silver. And in Heart Gold and Soul Silver, the radio talks about how uh, the Sinnoh music is the new music of the North. And as we've already established, the Sinjo Ruins event happens north of Johto, so probably south of jo uh, Sinnoh, which putting Sinnoh to the North makes a lot of sense. I also, on my original map that was made, put Kalos west of Johto. This is because the mountain ranges and the rivers line up, but so do the Pokemon that you can find on either side of these regions. And actually, Professor Sycamore is said to have learned a lot from Professor Rowan when he was young. And Professor Sycamore, as we know by a letter that you can find in Kalos, uh, arrived to Sinnoh, uh, arrived to Kalos, sorry, via train. And that train goes up through the mountain on the right-hand side of Kalos, which would lead you right up into the mountain ranges north and up towards Sinnoh. So the idea of the region being there kind of made sense to me. As for Hoenn, its eastern edge with Evergrande City and the western edge of Kalos also line up geographically really, really nicely. And in fact, there's a swimmer who's said to have swum from the Alola region to the Kalos region. So it makes sense if they were kind of close and sharing a border. Okay, that's pretty cool. On top of that, I just kind of took a look at Unova and lined up the uh, the land mass kind of similarly. It did make sense to me because supposedly Kalos was at war with another kind of nation, another region. There was, you know, there's this whole story about two kings, two brothers, infinity energy, all that jazz. And on the eastern side, 
outside of Yanova, there is the Abyssal Ruins, which is a sunken city at the end of a big war, and there's all sorts of theories tying in that war with the Kalos War. So it kind of made sense if there, okay, that would be kind of close to Kalos as well. That makes sense. Great, we've got pretty much everything. And then having Alola on the other side of the globe to Kanto, because supposedly people from Kanto and Johto came and made the Alola region. The Alola region is somewhat tropical, so if you have it on the other side of the map, it is like really far away, but technically it's actually quite close. The reason this works for me is because in Pokemon Sun and Moon, Kanto is referred to by your mom as being quite some way away from Alola, so other side of the map. However, like I said, it's people from Kanto and Johto that came and established the Alola region, and the Alola region is essentially the game's version of the Orange Islands, a tropical set of islands where you've got these regional variants. The whole thing just kind of makes a lot of sense, but really, I mean, you could just place the Alola region right under the Sevi Islands if you wanted. It wouldn't really make that much of a difference. Okay, cool, solid Pokemon map. Oh, and of course we have the Pokemon Ranger regions, as I previously mentioned. Well, and Poketopia, but Poketopia is just an island and because it's very heavily Sinnoh focused, because it's part of the Gen 4 games, I just put it near Sinnoh. Doesn't really matter. You could make a million guesses and put it anywhere on the map. But with the Pokemon Ranger regions, one of them has a desert on one side, so I wanted to tie that into the Ore region, so that's how I came up with the way the map looks there. As for the other Ranger region, I wanted to have that somewhat nearby because I figured all of the culture of having Pokemon Rangers should probably be in similar parts of the world. And the placement of these regions on the map was all decided by the Fori region, which is the closest region apparently to it is Sinnoh even closer than the other ranger regions. And that kind of worked for me because if Snowpoint City is like a cold north to the map, and the Fior region, as you can see from the artwork, has kind of icy mountains in the background. So to me, the only way these two regions could be the closest regions possible to each other is if instead of going left to right or east to west, instead you go north over the North Pole to the Fior region where you've got this icy mountain range north of it. That to me made sense, that's how I came up with the map, and actually it had a generally positive response from a lot of the Pokemon community, and I'm really happy to hear that. There was one Poke Amino post that I found while researching for this video where someone was talking about how it didn't make sense geographically, and to be fair, that's okay. I wasn't massively expecting it to make sense geographically. I am certainly not a, a geographist. Geologist, geographist, and in the geography. All the words, apparently. But one of the big criticisms that they had was me putting the battle resort in the north, so close to the North Pole, because it is a tropical resort. Uh, my response to that would simply be that the battle resort is only a little bit south of Stark Mountain, where the living magma Pokemon Heatran lives and through Pokemon, uh, Pokemon, legendary Pokemon just having the powers that they do, uh, that would be my argument for why that area in particular is so hot, as opposed to the rest of the region around it. So that was my kind of counter to that. Another few bits of evidence that I already kind of had to disregard was any evidence including the real world. For me, at the time of making that theory, references to the real world were seeming to disappear a little bit, and actually they were, they, they were much more common in the old sort of Pokemon, Pokedexes and that kind of thing. Arcanine's Pokedex entry talks about it coming from China, I believe, or Asia, just off the top of my head. Plus, we see, like, images of real-world animals in old Pokemon cards and in the TV show and that kind of thing. So those real-world references are usually typically found in all the Pokemon, and I kind of felt that this was information being retconned. Mm, I'll get to it, though. I also had to disregard a bit of evidence that suggested the caves where you find Uxi, Azelf, and Mesprit in Unova were actually literally connected to Sinnoh. I believe there is a description of the cave that talks about the cave kind of goes to the Sinnoh region, this has to be metaphorical no matter where you place the region on the map in relation to Sinnoh. So I kind of had to disregard that in that video anyway. However, something got me stumped. I can't remember who it was and I'm so sorry if, I, if I'm not able to display on screen who it was because it was years ago. I saved the screenshot. Someone came to me with one bit of evidence that I could not ignore. It is from the Sinnoh games where Professor Oak is introducing you to the Power Park and talking about how Pokemon from all over the country could be sent there. Sinnoh, Johto, Kanto, and Hoenn. This would imply that all of these regions that are based on real world locations from Japan are part of the same country. Which means me having Hoenn kind of a little bit separate and off the coast of Kalos and Kalos being there. Ah, uh, hold up. Does that 
Does that work? I don't know if that does work. On top of that, as we went through the Alola region, I began to realize that there were still Pokedex entries referencing the real world. And in fact, if you take a look at Raichu's Pokedex entry in the Alola region, it talks about how it can shock an Indian elephant, another reference to the real world. So, I don't know. This bit of evidence for me, you know, the first four regions all being part of the same country, can you really have Kalos in the middle of that? Kalos, which if these first four regions are all actually just regions within the country of Japan, Japan in the Pokemon world would mean that Kalos is a region within the country of France, which we know exists because it's referenced by Fantina, the gym leader from Generation 4's Diamond and Pearl. At that time, Kalos didn't exist, so they just you said that she's French, she's from France. And I expect if we have Diamond and Pearl remakes that yes, Fantina will be from Kalos. So this got me thinking on a slightly different track. Maybe the Pokemon world is literally just Earth, as we see in the GTS, and instead regions, despite their size difference, like Hawaii, for example, has eight islands, not four, but Alola is four islands, maybe it's just like a slightly altered version of Earth. I mean, the real story is that I'm probably just thinking too much about it, and there's not a correct answer because Game Freak has never, ever, ever drawn out a Pokemon world, and in fact, in many of their official mediums, they do change it between titles. In the Kalos War flashback at the beginning of X and Y, you can see the Pokemon planet and it's very different to how it is in the animated series when you see a full world image zooming out from the Unova region. They're all just very different and in fact in a, in a book that I have there's this image of four of the regions like next to each other in a line so we know that's not a thing either. Which evidence do I go with? What do I choose? What works? And then what does Sword and Shield bring into it? Because to be quite frank, the region of Gala, first of all, and I, I always say the words, the, I always say the UK, it's not the UK. While there are some Pokemon and characters and elements that seem to take inspiration from Wales and Scotland and Northern Ireland, in my opinion, I think Gala is an English region. As you can see, the landmass is England flipped upside down, but there's not what I would describe as a Scotland. And all the locations are jumbled up. It's not a straight south to north. Like a lot of people seem to think that because Wyndon is in the north and London is in the south of England, then oh, okay, that must mean that you're starting at Scotland at the bottom and heading up to London at the top. But that doesn't make sense, it doesn't hold up. Mostly because starting towns like Wedgehurst are very similar to just southern England town, but more more predominantly, areas around the wild area like the Dusty Bowl as well as Turfield are very clearly based on Stonehenge. And Hillbury is very clearly inspired by Plymouth with the Plymouth Lighthouse. Um, and both of these locations in the real world, Plymouth and Stonehenge, are south of London. So for the theory that it's Scotland at the bottom of Gala and London at the top and that's the southernmost point doesn't make sense because then both Turfield and Hillbury would have to be up north. The locations are jumbled. The, the land mass is flipped over, as you can see, but the actual locations take inspiration from all over, all over England and maybe a little bit from the US to the UK. I haven't really seen that. And then they're just darted, dotted kind of wherever. Wherever works narratively for the story. So that would mean if the Pokemon world is just a parallel version of Earth, rather than the UK, they've just got this Gala region, which is kind of flipped upside down. And I guess that's off the coast of Kalos. And that makes sense because there's a swimmer who swum from Kalos to Gala. And that works, that works. Okay, so maybe maybe that's the case. Maybe it's just an alternate version of Earth. Hang on a minute. A swimmer who swam from one region to another didn't I mention earlier in the video? And in fact, there's a swimmer who's said to have swum from the Alola region to the Kalos region. Yep, there is someone who has swum from Kalos to Hoenn and back. Well, hang on. In the real world, Hoenn is based off Japan. Kalos is based off of France. I'm telling you, no earthly human has been able to swim that distance. So wherever we turn, if we want to make this theory work, we've got to ignore one bit of evidence or another. Because yeah, even swimming that distance on Pokemon back, I'm pretty sure your Pokemon would tire out and they would just, it, it's just not happening. Unless, I don't know, maybe, maybe maybe they had Kyogre and they just swam the whole journey on Kyogre's back, but I'm pretty sure that they don't because Team Aqua aren't after them. So no matter where we look, it seems that we have to ignore some bit of evidence or find a way to incorporate it. Because my big gripe before is how can the Kalos region, whose geography lines up perfectly on the eastern side with Johto and perfectly on the western side with uh, the Hoenn region, if Hoenn, Johto, Kanto and Sinnoh are all part of the same country, how can Kalos be in the middle of it and be a different country, France? And as it happens, it turns out that there are countries in the world that have parts of the country that are separated entirely by other countries. Russia just being one example. There's part of Russia 
this name I'm not even going to pretend to try and pronounce, that is literally separated from the rest of Russia, but it's still Russia. In the exact same way, the region of Hoenn could be part of the country of Japan uh, alongside Johto, Kanto, and Sinnoh, and still have Kalos smack bang in the middle of it, dividing it up. And actually, it kind of makes sense that Hoenn would be moved anyway. I actually mentioned in my original theory that Hoenn was probably moved by Red Yagigas, or broken off from the rest of the landmass by Groudon or Kyogre's raging battles. This is because these Pokemon are like continent destroyers. And all of the Regis were originally locked away in the Hoenn region, and Red Yagigas even has Pokedex entries talking about how it moved continents, so that could kind of work. Additionally, if I want to double down on this, if you still want to include the Pokemon Ranger regions, the Fior region is said to be directly in the Pokemon world the closest region to Sinnoh. And yet, when we look to the various locations that might be Fior's main uh, inspirations, none of them are next to what is the real world equivalent of the Sinnoh region. There are other real world areas of Japan, but none of them are closer than the Kanto region in Japan, which uh, obviously is a region in the Pokemon world as well. Whatever region Fior is, it has to be closer to Sinnoh than Kanto is, because otherwise they would have said, let's send the Manaphy egg to Kanto. And I know I'm being pedantic about a single line of dialogue here, but to me, this makes sense. It also makes sense because as I was saying at the very beginning of the video, when it comes to references of the real world, they are, there are none that I could find in the Pokedex entries of Gala. I tweeted out asking, does anyone have any examples of this? And all of the examples are from older games. In Sword and Shield, all of the Pokedex entries, none of them reference the real world. Like again, they're moving away from the idea of the real world. Now, throughout Pokemon's history, we've had, I believe, China mentioned, we've had India mentioned, we've had the Arctic Ice in Regice's Pokedex entries. There have been a number of real world locations mentioned, like France. So, I am to believe that the Pokemon globe is still a big bit of mystery. I do believe that some of the regions might be connected, like I've talked about with Kalos, it just makes so much sense with it being where it is. But Kalos is part of a country in the Pokemon world known as France but it's not placed in the exact same place. That the Arctic Ice exists in the Pokemon world, just we don't know exactly where it is. I'm gonna assume it's in the same place because why not? And here is an updated map with my current thinking, which you can download if you want using the link in the description. I mean, go nuts, have fun with it. See if there's any in-law, I'm really prioritizing the in-law, in-game, in-dialogue stuff. And as you can see for now, I've placed Gala north of Hoenn and west of, uh, of Kalos. And this makes sense because you've got a swimmer who swam all the way from Kalos to Gala and Kabu is from the Hoenn region. Just a few examples that really, really make sense to me. So there you go. The Pokemon world, does the theory still hold up? I think more so now than it actually did before. It's still a stretch in general, but it's fun to think about. There probably is no correct answer to what the Pokemon globe looks like, and this almost certainly isn't it because we certainly don't know everything there is to know. New regions will be discovered. I'm sure more real world references will be made. This is just my best educated guess so far using all of the in-game evidence. So thank you everyone for watching this video, for checking out this Pokemon theory. Let me know, is there anything in-game that I've totally, totally missed? Thank you for watching. And with that being said, so high Pokemon Masters. This is Ash Ketchum. You just watched a video by Bird Keeper Toby. That makes you a Pokemon Master. And a massive thank you to those of you supporting me on Patreon right now, including the big patron of this month, Gunner Clovis. Thank you, heroes.